guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Hi guys, I'm back. Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a reading for August the 19th until, oh my gosh, the 27th or 26th. Um, so thank you. I want to thank you guys uh, for uh, giving me the time to detach from this journey. Um, it was so good for my soul to be able to um, you know, do the things that I've wanted to do to focus on my health, um, to really ground myself. So, you know, with the uh, twin flame connection, um, you know, it's a hard enough journey as it is. So, uh, my situation is a little bit more unique because I have my cards, and uh, being able to get my cards out to the public um, requires you know, me to do the videos and to, um, you know, advertise it more or less, just to get it out to the public. So, you know, and that puts me in a very uh, difficult situation because uh, I'm unable to detach. My success depends on my ability to, to do the readings. My cards and the Twin Flame Connection are interlinked now. So, I was starting to feel a little confined, you know, not a little, a lot confined, you know, uh, like I was, there was no escape from the twin flame. I was forced to think about it constantly. So being able to de detach um, allowed me to find myself again. So I thank you guys and thank you, a special thank you to those of you who continue to support me while I took this time off. Um, I've noticed I've lost a lot of subs, I've lost uh, patrons, so, you know, that was to be expected, but for those of you who continue to support me, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so I just pulled a, a couple of cards before I started this reading, um, or, you know, just to help me decide, you know, is it the right time to do a reading, is it the right time to come back? So I got the Justice card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Um, so this talks about karmic energy, what you put out, you get back. Uh, it also talks about justice being served. Um, so what I see is, you know, past, present, and future. The present is the Knight of Pentacles. This is taking things very slowly. Um, this is, you know, almost reaching the fi finish line, um, putting a great deal of work and effort into manifesting your dreams. So I see, you know, spirit saying just take it step by step um, you know and in the future we have the three of wands which is encouragement from the universe a thumbs up you know you're on the right track um, and the overall energy I got was the six of wands you know and this is people cheering you on people happy for your success so when I saw that I knew that it is time to do a reading so I'm just going to give these a quick shuffle. Um, as I said before, you know, the journey is very difficult. Um, I, I felt that I was giving a great deal of myself uh, to doing readings. So, you know, I want to start myself off slow, just like the Knight of Pentacles and, you know, do a twin flame reading for you guys. I can do that at least. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take it from there, okay? All right, so. Yeah, I'll do a standard twin flame. So I'll pull the cards first. So the feminine got um, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, which is a seven of cups. So confusion, the four of cups for the masculine, detachment, um, disconnect. The Seven of Swords for the Feminine, Present Position, um, Negative Thoughts, Fears, the Masculine, Ten of Swords, 
uh, something ending, the near future for the feminine, uh, the ego, near future for the masculine, four of wands. Um, I'm going to leave the final outcome in, you know, unexposed or unshown. And we'll get to those later. So the twin flame connection we have for the feminine, the king of pentacles, the masculine, two of swords. As a foundation, the solar plexus and crowning the base. Okay, so the overall energy is ten of cups. Nice. So the overall energy for the coming week is the Ten of Cups. So Ten represents completion. We have two Tens in the reading, uh, Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So um, something is ending. Uh, the Ten of Cups has to do with love, peace, harmony, serenity. Everybody's getting along at work, at home. Um, you know, you, you just feel happy and content with your life. Okay, so that's a beautiful energy to be in. Your focus is on home and family and love. So let's start with the feminine side. So the Seven of Cups, the feminine felt confused, felt that she had lost her way. Um, this could also represent that there were a lot of options uh, and she didn't know which one to choose. So this is also about wondering if what you perceive is reality or just a fantasy, a dream of your own making. So confusion, we got two sevens here, seven of cups, the seven of swords. So that's kind of a transition energy. So what I see here is the feminine was lost um, in her emotions and now she's kind of lost in thought uh, the Seven of Swords in the present position is not being able to trust, um, feeling like you've been betrayed in the past and you're not sure if you want to give your trust to somebody. So there are some th swarming thoughts in the feminine's mind um, regarding this connection. Um, you know, she doesn't want to return to this, you know, feeling lost and confused. Um, so she may have her guard up at the moment. So in the pre or near future position, we have the ego. So this is um, usually has to do, well it is, has to do with the uh, 3D reality, the material world, placing a great deal of importance on material possessions, um, you know, letting the ego get the better of you, you know, um, it's a really controlling energy, uh, carnal pleasure, uh, indulging in um, addictive behavior. So this is in the near future. So we can see that this loss, this confusion, this not being able to trust um, is triggering some aspects of the feminine's negative side. Now this could be the feminine coming across the ego and that's why she can't trust him or her. So I'm going to pull one clarifying card for that with my other deck. What do you mean by the ego? Well, okay, this one. The heart chakra. So what I've, when I'm feeling with this, you know, the heart chakra is unconditional love. It's pure love. Um, it's feeling balanced in your heart space. And when you feel that balance, you're able to give love, you know, with, and not expect uh, anything in return. So this could be the feminine energy coming up across the ego. Um, and light always wins in darkness, right? So I see a fight, a battle between the ego and the heart. And but the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. It is unconditional love, right? Um, love always wins. And you can see that battle, you know, becoming victorious with the Ten of Cups. 
All right, so before I pull the final outcome, I'm going to move over to the masculine side. So in the past position, we have the Four of Cups. So the masculine, um, we can see, has turned his back on the connection uh, to focus on other things. Maybe he's, you know, um, his attention is drawn to other things. It could be another person, um, but it is an emotional card. So he could also be ghosting the feminine in the past. Um, you know, feeling disconnected, feeling um, alone, right? He's looking out the window. So he's mourning the loss. He's thinking about somebody. So it's not a very positive card. So when we see these two cards together, you know, it's like the feminine's going, well, you know, what the fuck happened? You know, um, where are you? Um, I feel a great deal of love for you. So she may have disconnected in order to find those answers um, as a result of the masculine disconnecting or the masculine, you know, is feeling that loss because she disconnected. Either way, there is a feeling of disconnect for sure. So the masculine, are you able to see those cards? Okay, so the masculine in the present position got the Ten of Swords. Interesting how um, the sword energy is both, you know, in the present for both aspects. The Ten of Swords is an ending. So this is a dark night of the soul. This is fear, um, betrayal, uh, feeling stabbed in the back, left for dead. You know, so after this ending is a new beginning. And the masculine has the Four of Wands to look forward to in the near future. The Four of Wands is the, you know, a twin flame card. So Ten of Swords. Now the masculine could be cutting negative energy out of his life in order to clear the way for the Four of Wands. Um, but what I'm seeing with this is an action being taken, ending something. Um, not really expecting anything in return and when you do that when you end something for your own good not for a gain that energy comes back to you so ten of swords I'm just gonna pull one card here hope the star card so the star card comes after a very difficult period of time um, you were tested the tower came down very suddenly things ended so this is a healing energy. Although there's darkness and fear and ending, there's a cool breeze, a, a warm breeze flowing through his energy space, helping him to heal. And that's why the Four of Wands comes forward and the Ten of Cups comes forward. Uh, his wishes are coming true. He wished upon a star and his dreams are being fulfilled. But right now he's healing from it. Okay, so the Four of Wands, near future. So I use this as a confirmation card for a Twin Flame Connection. Beautiful. You know, coupled with the Ten of Cups, we see this roaring fire outside. You know, your friends and family are sitting around the fire laughing, um, sharing memories. The Four of Wands is the two of you sitting in front of a fire in love. So the Four of Wands um, is feeling completed, but yet you have so much to look forward to. Uh, the Ten of Cups is, you know, really having that, that love, that groundedness uh, within the family. All right. You know, I want to pull one more card with that. Page of Fire. So this is playfulness, excitement, a new adventure. <clears throat> and that's, that's kind of what the Four of Wands is portraying as well. You know, there's, you feel like you've arrived, but you got your whole life spread out before you. So there's a new beginning, a new start that has to do with love and the Twin Flame connection. So it could be great news, great communication that returns him to passion, to love to um, the ethereal 
uh, synchronicities of the twin flame connection, right? There's this awakening uh, there. All right, so you know what? I just realized I forgot to pull a card for the heart space. So I'm just going to pull a random card in the middle. Nice, the King of Cups. So the feminine is bringing in the King of Pentacles into the connection, into the, the, you know, the twin flame union. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very stable, very grounded, very successful financially, um, who wants to create a, a safe home, provide for his family. So I see the feminine being solid as a rock in terms of the union, also maybe possibly desiring a connection in the 3D reality. So her focus is on uh, the material world, creating a home, um, but also not letting her demons get away with her, you know, sharing love, opening her heart, um, and trying not to be affected by negative thoughts. So very grounded, beautiful, strong energy here. The masculine is bringing in the two swords. So this is indecision, mental conflict, uh, having two choices, and not knowing which road to choose. So again, we have that confusion taking place, you know, on the feminine side as well. Um, you know, with the same thing with the four swords, uh, wanting something, not being able to get it, not, you know, just feeling disconnected. So in terms of the union, the masculine is at a crossroads. Um, he is in the process of ending something so he could heal. And he's moving into love. But, you know, it's taking that first step. Um, that is a key. All right, I'm going to put one more card for that. Okay, Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is going, you know, embarking on a spiritual journey. It is leaving all your emotional baggage behind, not taking anything with you, just starting again over. So the movement I see is towards the feminine, towards oneness, towards finding himself. It's a spiritual journey. So what I'm seeing with these two cards, you know, Spirit is saying that, okay, so he's at a crossroads and he is, you know, it's hard for him to move forward and leave things behind, but that's what he's doing. He's moving towards love. And I'm saying that with, in you know, complete entire confidence because of the fact that both aspects are sharing the King of Cups in the heart space. So the King of Cups um, is the, you know, uh, it is a ma it could be a masculine energy, but I, what I'm seeing, it, it's shared between both aspects. So both feel this masculine, um, grounded love within their heart. They they feel so much love for one another. The love is pure. Um, it's honest, it's deep. You know, this is Kurt Cobain, he loved so deeply that it hurt him. So I'm feeling, you know, a deep loving bond and connection and a desire to, to reconnect, to unite, to become one again. Okay, so at the foundation, we have the solar plexus chakra. So as a foundation, there has been an ignition of power, of the will, uh, you know, feeling strong enough to do something. So, you know, we, we see that, what I'm feeling here is that there is a plan and it took a lot of courage and strength in order to, to make it happen. So in terms of the union, there's so much power being drawn um, in order to unite, to come together. The feminine is, you know, sitting strong like a rock. The masculine, there's movement with the page of fire, with the eight of cups, 
Right, but first he needs to heal. He's making decisions. As the crowning energy, we have the base chakra, number one. So this is your bo most basic needs, sustenance, shelter, um, you know, just feeling safe and secure in all aspects of your life, work, home, right? So usually when this shows up, there's a lack of it. So, you know, at, at the very foundation, there's a fear that, um, you know, how am I going to, how are we gonna come together if I don't have a job? How are we gonna create a beautiful home if I, you know, don't have financial um, support? But none of that matters. <clears throat> the heart matters, love matters, the way you, you feel for one another matters the most, not what you can give each other, that, that will all come, you know, love, true love is what matters. Okay, so as a final, come for the feminine side, eight of swords, feeling trapped, this is how I felt, this is what I was trying to describe earlier. Now we have a progression from the seven to the eight. Um, so there's a realization here that you can free yourself. You can unchain yourself from the ego. You know, you are choosing to stay where you are. You can easily walk away. One card as a com confirmation, five of swords, negative energy. Negative energy is making you feel trapped. Um, you know, let those words bounce off you. Don't embody somebody else's energy. It's not who you are. Focus on love. Final outcome for the masculine, solar plexus, or sorry, the sacral chakra. So this is emotions, relationships, your connections with other people and society. Um, so what I'm feeling here is a blockage, um, opened and unblocking, especially when it's following the, the page of fire and four of wands. There's so much passion, so much, um, desire and excitement. You can't quench that, you know, you... It can only grow, especially with the Ten of Cups as an overall energy. So I'm just going to pull one more clarifier here. And oh, wow, the Seven of Cups. So same card over here. Um, what I see is, you know, a minor stumbling block here. Um, these are both emotional. So I'm going to pull one more. Six of Swords. Okay. Um, this is somebody walking away from negative energy, negative, negative people. So the masculine will hit a stumbling block, the base chakra. There is a lot of fear and anxiety about walking away from something, um, a moment of confusion, um, a withdrawal perhaps again, but I'm, you know, I'm feeling this is almost a masculine is walking away from a negative energy, and so is the feminine, leaving those negative thoughts behind, um, overcoming, and I feel strongly again because the Ten of Cups is the overall energy, light and darkness, the light, the love will always win. All right, so I'm going to pull two cards from the Romance uh, Oracle Cards, Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. What final messages do you have? Feminine first. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And for the masculine, okay, this is in reverse, I think. This could be the one. I'm just going to check this one here. Okay, yeah, it came in reverse. All right. I don't think they read reversals here, but let me just check. Okay, attraction. Okay, so it says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, 
that's what I, I was trying to say, right? You don't try to control a situation. Don't allow negative thoughts to overcome. Um, find stillness within your heart. Love is the only thing that is real. Like a good friend, the romance angels send you this card to tell you the truth. The best way to have more romance in your life is through attraction rather than through strenuous effort. You are most attractive when you're fully enjoying yourself in the present. Your joyful laughter, self-expression, and body language are beautiful. And, uh, you know, that, that reminds me, um, being able to detach and not think about this connection at all, um, as a result, the masculine came towards me. You know, it, it was only when I was able to completely free myself and not think about it, that's when uh, the masculine came towards me. Okay, so it says, your laughter, self-expression, body language are beautiful. In contrast, any stress you experience as you strain to find romance pushes against the stream of life. Strain comes from a place of fear with an underlying worry, maybe I won't receive this. This fear then attracts the very thing you worry about. Stress creates wrinkles, body tension, and constricted voice and other unattractive characteristics. So go smell a rose and fully enjoy its fragrance beauty. Allow yourself simple pleasures that lead to great joy. Affirm frequently that you are loved and lovable. Visualize a rom wonderful romantic relationship with a great partner. Take excellent care of yourself and follow your inner guidance via the law of attraction. You'll draw romantic love to you through your own attractive nature. Wow, really resonating with that right now. And the masculine got, uh, this could be the one in reverse. So that there is no reversals. Um, so I'll try to interpret it. All right. So let me just read it out loud. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So it says this card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek. Perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her. The romance angel sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. So in reverse, um, what I see here is that the masculine knows um, they've already met you um, and that they are recognizing or enjoying the full potential of you or this relationship, the connection. All right, so carrying on. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have different ideas of, of what a partner should look like or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. So here we have that overlooking, um, you know, the two of swords not making that decision. And then boom, page of fire, you know, having that epiphany, um, realizing this connection, but needing to move away from something negative once and for all. Okay, so Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner, either in your present relationship or the future one. During sleep, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clear sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called to based on your inner guidance even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you towards the one you desire. Okay, so the message from the universe is to trust. For some reason it shut off. Um, to trust your guidance, trust how you feel inside. Sorry about that, my, um, my camera ran out of memory. So I just wanted to finish my thought there. Um, trust in love, trust your heart trust in the universe to bring you exactly what you need which is love if you guys truly love one another um, there's nothing that can keep you guys apart 
so I'm signing off I love you guys uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll be giving updates there all right cheers